today I want to share a little project that I'm working on here. As you can see, I have this outro video that I've had created for me on Fiverr. Some things are just better to outsource and do yourselves. This is a perfect example of one of those things because some of these people out there on Fiverr for a very small fee can do some terrific work as you can clearly see far better than I can ever do. So this is what I'm using as my base template to create my outro. The reason for today's video is because I want to show you how to annotate these buttons here for subscribe, Facebook, for my sites like Amazon, eBay, my websites, my Google Plus, and my, e my email us page because I want my customers to be able to communicate to me, potentially purchase products from us or get assistance, whatever the case is. Normally when you create video annotations on YouTube, you have to create the video, upload it, then add the annotations, save it, publish it, and that's only going to work on that one video. With the way I'm doing it here, I'm going to show you how to annotate these buttons, the all important subscribe button, your Google Plus, your email, and your URLs to get to your actual sales websites. Well, the annotations, you create them one time and you can use them as many times as you want. So every time you create a video, you just got to take this little video and all the work is already done for you. You do it once and the work is basically just done for you for the foreseeable future until you change your outro to something else. So pretty cool, right? So the first button I want to work on here is the subscribe button. And I want to do it in such a way where it's a little classy so that way it won't disrupt the video on the screen, but I want it to be clear and translucent. But if a customer were to come over here, hit the button, it'll open up a separate window and allow them to, to sub the channel, which is my ultimate goal. So let's start doing that now. So what you're going to want to do is you want to go to your video manager, find the video that you're working with to do the annotations on. So here's mine. I already have it named my video complete with audio and hyperlinks. Now I'm just going to actually annotate those hyperlinks, make this a complete annotated video. Then I can publish it and I can start using this on the tail end of all my videos going forward in the future. So you're going to go to annotations. I'm going to let it play out until that sub button comes up right there, like it just did. Now I'm going to hit Add Annotation. The one I'm going to use is going to be the Spotlight. You'll notice that this gives me an option to have a translucent background. So I'm just going to take this. drop that right on top of my subscribe button and there's going to be two of these little windows one which typically would be used for the text and then the other one is actually going to be for the external link there's two movable squares here you got one here and you got this one over here right they kind of go together the one that you can choose the color that one you're going to want to make clear. So you drop that right here to cover your subscribe button. And then this guy here, I'm just going to want to take that, position it right over it. Basically stretch it out so that way whatever area you want the person to be able to click over onto, such as this. See I got good coverage on my subscribe button. Leave that be. Then over here you come to the link button. And these are the choices. You can actually have someone shoot and open another screen to a video, a playlist of yours, your channel, your Google Plus page, which of course will be uh, good for this one right here, your subscribe button, which we can use for here, an associated website, which you can use for here, but we're going to do the subscribe button for now. You have to enter the name of your channel, which you know, I'm Lesko Electronics, but the actual name of my channel, few people even know is actually the Lesko. So you save that. You apply that. Now, we're going to move along to these other little ones, like this one here for my Google Plus page. I'm going to hit Add Annotation. Same thing, I'm going to do the Spotlight deal. Now you see this one here is the one that's changing color. So I'm going to change that to clear. I'm going to bring that right over here to my Google Plus, just like so. Then I'm going to take this, layer, layer it right on top, and this one we're going to do again a link, 
to the Google Plus profile page. That is me. Hit save, apply, next. Now we're going to hit another add annotation. I'm going to do another spotlight. This time we want to go to my website. And again, I'm going to change the color to clear. Get this guy over this. But this one here, actually, I'm going to do a little bit differently. You know what? Now that I think about it. Because here's the way it works. It's a little tricky uh, with the external websites. And you got to play within the rule book. Like in so many things, of course, right? So I do uh, most of my business on eBay and I do them on Amazon. But I'm not so crazy about Amazon because their fees are just nuts. And I don't like to support them. I like to support myself. And since... I'm more of an eBay guy, and actually all the URLs that I own for Let's Go Electronics and Let's Go Sales.com get forwarded to my eBay store. This is the one I'm going to choose to uh, have as my landing page. So my link to my associated website also has to be matching to what I have set up on my settings for my YouTube channel, which is www.letsgoelectronics.com. Oh, HTTP. There you go. You can preview the link to make sure it goes to the correct location, which should take you to my eBay store, which it does. So I know I'm good. Again, it's already saved. I can apply my changes. So when somebody comes and hovers over here, it'll take them here to my Google Plus to know more about me personally. Here or here, it'll take them to my Let's Go Sales website, which will take them to my eBay landing page for both eBay and Amazon. So either way, it's a win-win. doesn't matter which way they choose. For the email, that's going to be another story, but you get the gist of it. So if you wanted to have a subscribe button, just do like I showed you, and it'll, it'll take them to another page saying, do you want to subscribe? Confirm your subscription. You hit the button, and you have it, and it looks great, classy. It does not affect the beauty of your outro. So if you paid somebody like I did on Fiverr, this one actually didn't cost me five. It actually cost, it wound up costing me 35 bucks because I made some changes, the colors, and you know, this and that. But overall, what a great investment. I mean, all you gotta do is get one person to come on, click something, purchase an item from your store, and it pays for itself. So in my opinion, it's a must have for anybody who's serious on YouTube. So that's how I'm doing it, folks. It's nothing really that, that hard to it. Um, but it's all so much better than doing this repeatedly. Every video, you have to go through the grudgery of creating a subscribe button, having colorful annotations hidden in the corners and doing all this weird stuff. This is just so much more smoother, much more nicer. It's much more respectable and professional looking to a, to a person who's looking at your videos. So that's how I do it. I hope it helps you guys. If you guys have questions um, or if you have something to share with someone else or in helping me, maybe someone knows something about doing what I'm doing here and it can benefit me. That's what it's all about here in the community. So teach me. I try to teach you. But this is working really well for me and I hope you guys enjoyed the video.